We're looking at reverse image search. Just came to Lexica. So this is a tiki mug of my dog made with the textual inversion. We'll see if we can find other tiki mug dogs. And here we go. So there's definitely dog mug concepts. I'm not seeing many tikis. So get to generating guys. We need more tikis on the web. Um, very cool and you can you can click on one of these and actually explore the style all it's doing is submitting that image into the reverse image search so yeah a lot of mug dogs um, so very cool lexica update uh, this is called um, visual grounded guided in painting so uh, basically what's happening is they're going to um, give it a text prompt and uh, so dog is what they want um, it to focus on in the image and then they want to replace it with a cat and as you can see it just replaced that one element by describing the element and uh, here they want to replace the bride with a giraffe and let's see there they got some and so yeah the quality isn't a hundred percent but this is the future of of using text and visually guide the model um, to in paint so very cool uh, Open art, uh, AI, so 10 million um, images from Dolly 2, Mid Journey, and Stable Diffusion. So like Lexica, you can just search and see the prompts and figure out if you want to remix the prompt. EMAD announced OpenAI's a clip has been upgraded by Stability AI to be OpenClip, and they trained for 1.2 million A100 hours, so it's a much more improved model, open sourced. Um, EMAD said that a million users have now used the Dream Studio website, which that's, the, that's just the website. That doesn't count the API users, um, like what Canva's doing and what AI Dungeon is doing. Um, so everyone, Pixels, they're all integrating Stable Diffusion. Midjourney's even got it now. Uh, this is super cool. So, this is a filter so where basically, you can she can walk inside her image because it. it's like Step an AR filter. The idea. And she, she accomplished that without painting with Dolly. So I'll link this. You can watch it. There were like seven artists that worked on this project. It took them a month. Very cool. Uh, and then this is the final one. Generate color palettes from text descriptions. So this is actually, the code is, is on, on GitHub. You can go use this right now. But... He basically took Stable Diffusion and he made it so that you can describe a color palette and will actually generate the color palette from text. So very fun. All right, that's the update for today. I look forward to seeing your generations.